Hey, I'm Jesus, and this video is going to focus on the message that should terrify you if you play CSGO, and I mean terrify you, but on the other hand, it may also end up saving your Steam account. So I'm going to tell you what it is and what you should do if you get it. Now, this video is sponsored by Skin Wallet, the skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash, more about them later. So account hacking. It's a pretty big problem on the internet, and you probably didn't need me to tell you that. And this problem definitely extends to CSGO. There are a lot of scammers out there dedicated to breaking into people's accounts and stealing their skins. In fact, it's a big enough problem that people like Stewie2K are literally getting locked out of their accounts and having their skins stolen during the playoffs of majors. That is not what I call good timing. And when something like this happens, people generally tend to assume that some kind of really elaborate hack has been carried out. So people were immediately speculating that Stewie may have been hit by some kind of sim swap, for example. And the sim swap is not the only elaborate way you can break into someone else's Steam account. Another fancy technique involves using an Apple iCloud exploit. When Junior, a player from Furia, had his account compromised and skin stolen in November last year, many people were quick to blame this type of hack, and media articles even reported it. But here's the thing. The SimSwap, the Apple iCloud exploit, they're both pretty complicated hacks to pull off. A hacker can't just do them willy-nilly to a random account whenever they feel like it. So why are people assuming it's a complicated hack? Couldn't it be something a lot more simple? And one thing I will say is that people who get hacked always seem to claim they've been careful. And I'm not saying they weren't, but I will say that a lot of hacks out there rely on people doing something stupid, and I see these hacks being run all the time, so they must be working. Now the hack I'm thinking of here is a phishing hack. Basically you log into a fake Steam login page, sometimes it's on a fake version of a popular site, sometimes it's a completely fake trading site instead like this one which is apparently made by scammers who are too lazy to pick a font that isn't from the 1990s. Luckily though, Chrome is onto this one. Thank you Mr. Google. If it wasn't, you get this fake pop-up, which isn't even a pop-up, it's actually part of the web page. And when you enter in your details, the scammer uses them to log into your Steam account. This is a simple hack, and it relies on you being a complete moron. And that can be a very hard pill to swallow if you're a scam victim. However, there's a bit of a catch to phishing scams because they don't actually let a hacker do that much to your account. They can't trade your skins, you still need to confirm that manually. And they can't sell your skins either, you need to confirm that manually as well. And they can't change your password or mobile authenticator. They need your phone or email to do that. In fact, there's only really two things they can do. Firstly, they can change your Steam profile to be anime themed, which is an absolute crime against humanity, and as far as I'm aware, no scammer has ever been depraved enough to do that. But they can also pinch your Steam API key. and this lets scammers view, accept, and cancel your trades. Now crucially, they're not able to confirm your trades. They still can't get past your mobile authenticator. But what it does allow them to do is cancel a trade you make with a trading site, then send you an identical offer with a fake bot, allowing them to scam you that way. Pretty effective, although there are limits to how much you can steal. Now, obviously, if someone gets scammed like this, it sucks. It really sucks. But there's a big problem here because it doesn't explain the hacks we were looking at. Stewie2K was locked out of his account. That is not possible if he was just fished. Junior had all his skins traded away. That's not possible if he was just fished. And this Benny Boy guy's friend had their mobile number changed. That's not possible if they were just fished. And these aren't rare examples either. I mean, Alu was hacked a few days ago. His account got wrecked even harder than he wrecked Ents. This stuff happens a fair bit, and the way it happens isn't always clear. But the warning signs often are, and if you know the steps a hack has to go through to break into your account, you will know when you've been pawned. So what does a hacker need to take full control of your account? Well, basically they need one of two things, your email or access to your SMS messages. But these things aren't exactly the same. Both of them will let you change a Steam account's password so you can lock someone out. But to actually take their skins, you need access to their mobile authenticator. And when it comes to that, email and SMS are not equal. Basically, if you try and transfer the authenticator via email, it will take you 15 days. But if you try and do it via SMS, it will only take you two. And these time periods are super important and we are gonna come back to them. But before we do that, I wanna ask a more fundamental question. 
How the hell is it these guys are even getting access to your email or phone number in the first place? The email account attached to your Steam is not public. The phone number attached to your Steam is not public either. And unless you know the owner of the Steam account personally, those things are gonna be hard to know. Now, hard to know is not impossible to know, and I'm sure there's a bunch of ways hackers could figure it out, but you know what's a really convenient one for them? Phishing scams. That's right, if someone breaks into your account through a phishing scam, they can immediately view your email address, not to mention the last two digits of your phone number. And if you're a scammer looking to hack someone's email or phone number, well, this is a really good place to start. And honestly, I suspect it is where a lot of these scammers start. They fish a whole bunch of accounts, identify the ones with big inventories, you know, $20,000 or so, and get to work taking the hack a bit further. Now, the first step generally will be breaking into your email account. And if you're using the same password for your email as your Steam account, well, obviously the hacker's job just got a lot easier. However, you should have two-factor authentication on your email. So even if they have your password, it still shouldn't be possible for them to get in. And although I'm sure some scammers have figured out workarounds, I'm also suspicious that a lot of the time, the people affected by this maybe don't have the best security on their end. However, regardless, once they do get into your email, at that point, they're in position to change your Steam password and also hijack your mobile authenticator. But I suspect a lot of scammers don't actually do that at this point. And you know why? Because if you use the email account to try and access their authenticator, not only will you be blocked from selling or trading anything on the Steam account for 15 days, but you'll also literally have to disable the owner's Steam authenticator in the process. And unless they're literally away from Steam for a couple of weeks, they're gonna notice you've done that. And they're gonna contact Steam support and stop you dead in your tracks. So what can they do instead? Well. What they can do is start looking for your mobile number, and honestly, if they've broken into your email, that's gonna be easy to find. And at that point, if they can find a way to reroute your SMS messages, which some hackers definitely know how to do, they can add your authenticator to their phone that way. And this time, your account is only going to be blocked from trading for two days. And if you don't notice that, once those two days are up, they're gonna be free to peel for your account for every skin you own. Now, I do want to be clear, what I've just explained is only a hypothetical about how a hacker could break into a Steam account. There's plenty of other ways you could do it and only the hackers themselves would know all the details, but there will be a bunch of common elements each time. And this yellow message here is one of them. This is the message that should terrify you because if you're getting it and you don't know why, you've been pawned and you've only got two days left to contact Steam support and save your account. And I wanna draw more awareness to this because it's something you can easily miss if you aren't regularly selling or trading skins, but it is also one of the biggest giveaways your account has been compromised and something very, very bad is coming your way. Now, some good news. Cantry, a well-known trader who is good at coding, is working on a plugin that can alert you if your account is getting messages like this. And I'll keep you guys posted because that could be a very, very useful plugin. But also some bad news. There is one hack that can actually bypass this message and give scammers instant access to your skins. And that is the Apple iCloud hack I mentioned earlier. Basically, this exploit allows the hacker to perform a complete copy and paste of your phone including the authenticator, meaning they can immediately steal all of your skins without any kind of warning. So it's much more dangerous than a standard hack. And if someone gets into your account using a phishing scam and your iCloud uses the same email and password as your Steam, you're f***ed. Just warning you there, don't put yourself in that situation. And I might add that a couple of the pros we saw earlier, particularly Stewie and Junior, do use iPhones. So they may have been hit by this, well, it's not certain. But at the same time, this definitely isn't all hacks. Alu is an Android user, after all. Either way, stay safe, and that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Massively appreciated. A big thanks to Zippel and Cantry for their input on this video. It helped a ton. And also, a big thank you to Skin Wallet for sponsoring this channel. Skin Wallet is a skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash. It's quick, easy, and safe to use with no hidden fees. You can log in through Steam and start selling your skins. If you're looking to buy, there are a ton of skins on sale for huge discounts, and you can buy it straight from Visa and MasterCard with no extra hidden fees, and save a lot of money on your skins buying this way. If you need money even more quickly, SkinWallet offers the best instant sell prices for mid-tier skins of any website, allowing you to get paid out 
within minutes. Skin Wallet also has 24 seven customer service for whenever you have a problem. Link is in the pinned comment. I recommend checking them out. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your gut. I'm Jesus, thanks for watching, see ya.